Hi, welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm gonna to personalize my DIYs using my Cricut Joy and Easy Press Mini in a really easy way. Now let's get crafting. For this DIY, I'm gonna take this little, kind of a wooden tag with slats on it from the Dollar Tree, and then a piece from another Dollar Tree item. I'm gonna use some scrapbook paper, and I'm just gonna cut out different sizes and attach it to the different parts of the wood. And I'm really enjoying mixing all these colors and patterns. As long as they're similar colors, I think it goes together really, really well. I'm super excited to partner with Cricut on this video. And I am going to be using the Cricut Joy, and it is the easiest machine I have ever used. Oh my gosh, and it's so small and lightweight. I can't get over how easy it is. I'm attaching my scrapbook paper that I cut out with a glue stick. And then I'm going to use a little blade and cut through the slats on the back so you can see through them and the scrapbook paper doesn't cover them. Once that's done, I'm going to get my little crate from the Dollar Tree ready using the steel color of chalk paint by Waverly. I'm going to paint the whole thing. And then the very bottom, I'm going to paint in the elephant color. I'm going to use that elephant color to distress as well. And I'm going to try a new technique where after I do a heavy distressing, I'm going to come back with a baby wipe and wipe it down and get it to the exact look that I want. And you know, if you wipe off too much, add a little more and so forth. It's really easy to do. And then I'm gonna take the back side of this one. I like to finish my crafts off and I am going to paint that as well. In order to attach the two pieces, I'm gonna use some craft sticks. And what I'm gonna do is cut them in half using my little miter shears, which are in my Amazon store. They're a really cool tool. And then I'm gonna use this tight bond, a very strong adhesive that I also got on Amazon. And I'm going to attach the popsicle sticks right where the slats would be on my tag. So there's gonna be four of those, but they're really just halves. I'm gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna put some weight on it. I only had two clamps that would fit in there. And then once that's dry, I come back in and I'm going to paint it with the steel color so that it all matches. And then I'm gonna also put glue on those slats and attach my piece. So there you go. And it actually is staying really well and I'm very happy with how it looks and it's very cohesive. And I'm gonna clamp that in and let that dry. I actually let it dry overnight just to be sure. I decided to use some silver vinyl, and so I'm gonna put the plaster color of chalk paint distressed heavily over the front. That way you'll be able to see my vinyl lettering on there. And I'm super excited to personalize this with my Cricut Joy. I am really loving the smart vinyl. You don't even have to use a mat with it. It's already ready to go. All you do is literally put it in, and then of course you go into Cricut Design Space, and you pick out your font, your lettering, your image, whatever you're gonna do. And I'm sitting here doing this on my mobile phone right next to me. I don't have to get up, go across, the room. I mean, seriously, this is so easy. And then I'm just setting up the machine. I'm saying which material I'm going to use, you know, whether it is on a mat or not. And then I say cut and it's cutting. Look at this. I mean, that is so awesome. You guys, I cannot believe how easy this is. I could take this in any room in the house. I could throw it in a bag. You can buy a bag for it and I can take it with me anywhere I want to go. So if I want to go help somebody else make something, I can take it over to their house. And now that it's done cutting, it will unload when I hit the button. I'm going to take it out. I'm just going to trim off the piece I need because I'm very conservative with my vinyl. I like to save as much as possible. I'm going to use my little weeding tool and just take out the little insides of the letters that you don't really need. Now, some people do this after they put it on the transfer tape. I always do it before. And then I'm going to use the little Cricut Joy transfer tape and figure out exactly the right size I need. Again, I don't want to waste any. I'm going to cut that piece out. I'm going to take my little Cricut scraper tool and make sure that the vinyl is definitely on there nice and solid before I decide to take off the excess. And now that I take the excess off, you can see what my design looks like. So it's Fresh Flower Market in a really cool design. And I literally just searched for Flower Market and there were so many really cool things to choose from. So there's a lot of designs in there already. You can design your own though, or you can use something that's already there. And now I'm just deciding where I'm gonna place it and how I'm gonna do it. And I put the transfer tape on there. I did decide to cut out the pieces so I could apply them separately because of the spacing that I needed. I tried to measure in advance, but I didn't do a great job with that. So I am just going ahead, putting it on. I'm using my scraper tool to make sure that the vinyl stays down and then I'm going to carefully remove the transfer tape and there you go. I love the way this looks. It's so cute and I'm really thinking it's so personalized now and it was so easy to do. And I have a little bit left of this little garland piece so I cut it in half and I applied it to the top and I thought that was just a great finishing touch for this one. And I do want to let you guys know that I will not recommend anything that I don't actually use and love and so I am really loving this one. 
I'm gonna take my blade and I'm just gonna cut those little pieces that are over the slats, just like I did with the scrapbook paper, so that I can make sure you can see through it. And now I've got some floral foam that I'm gonna cut down to size. And I've got this really cool greenery from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting everything into smaller pieces so I can arrange them exactly how I want to. And then I'm gonna add these blue flowers and some more greenery. I like the different textures and I like, you know, there's some white flowers. I just love that. And now this one's done and I really hope you like it. I hope you'll consider joining me on YouTube by hitting the red subscribe button and then turning on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video coming up. I do all kinds of DIYs in different styles and gardening in the spring and summer. There's something for everyone. I love that using the Cricut Joy, I can cut paper, not just vinyl. It is so cool. I love doing paper crafts and using book pages. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of cutting out little intricate things because my hands get kind of cramped. So this is a lifesaver for that. And so I'm gonna go into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna pick out some flowers that you can make using paper and you just roll them up. So I'm choosing that right now. I'm figuring out the right size for my design that I want. And this time I will use a mat because I'm using paper and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take off the excess and then I'm gonna weed off the pieces that I need to make my flowers. And this is so easy. And there's my book page. I'm gonna set that on there and do the same exact thing. Put it in the Cricut, use Design Space app and that's it. I mean, this thing is so easy. And again, look how small and compact it is. It's just so convenient. I am loving it. And I'm loving the variety of materials that you can use in here as well. I'm gonna remove those flowers that I made out of the book pages from the mat, and then I'm gonna get ready to start rolling my flowers. And I just zoomed in real close here so you can see, even though I'm doing it a little fast. You just roll it all the way around and then you can loosen it up at the end and make it as tight or as loose as you want. And I think they're gorgeous. Think of all the possibilities of the different kinds of paper you can use. I really love it. I decided to combine my book paper with my scrapbook paper and then I'm just hot gluing it so it doesn't come apart and actually securing the little bit of book page inside. And then I made some more and I'm folding those so they're easier to roll up. And now I'm gonna use this gorgeous garland that I got at Target Dollar Spot. And I'm just gonna cut off some of those leaves and I'm going to attach them to this little picture holder that I have here. It's got a flower on it already, so I thought it was perfect. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna add some of the leaves to the back of that flower. And then I'm gonna attach my paper flowers to the other leaves. And I'm gonna hot glue it all on there in a cute little arrangement. And then I've left the little clip available so you can still put a picture on there. And I think this is so cute. And since I wanted it to look like it all belonged together, I added just a little center to the flower that was already there using my paper and book page. And I thought that just tied it all together perfectly. And now I'm just assembling all of the pieces so that I can complete my arrangement. I have to say, using the Cricut Joy really made this easy to do. I can't even imagine trying to cut out all those pieces by hand. My hands would have just completely cramped up and it would have taken forever. So this is just it's a game changer. I'm loving it. And I really think that it's so nice because it was easy to use, easy to set up. I could do it on my computer or on my mobile phone. I absolutely love how this one turned out. And that's our sweet granddaughter in the picture. Did you know that I'm on social media? You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Come on over and say hi.
For this DIY, I'm gonna use the Cricut Joy and I'm gonna use the Smart Iron-On Vinyl because I found this really cute, it's actually a bib from the Target Dollar Spot, but I'm gonna turn it into a little doggy bandana. This time, I'm actually designing my own in Cricut Design Space. I'm picking out the font, I'm deciding what words, and it's gonna say Shane, which is one of my dog's names, and get the bunny. <laughs> and then I'm deciding on the size, and I'm gonna be measuring this with my square and figuring out where I'm gonna put it. And I'm gonna use the gray heat transfer vinyl because it matches the little bunny on here. And now I'm just sizing it up so I can actually print the right size for this. It was so easy, honestly. I mean, I literally am doing this on my phone, right here, real time, and instead of having to get up and go back and forth to my computer, I am loving how easy this is to do. One of my favorite models in life is to work smarter, not harder. And I am finding that using this Cricut Joy is definitely working smarter. I'm just arranging my words, how they're gonna be when I print them out and keeping in mind the size that I'm working with. And then I'm going to go ahead and send this to the Cricut. And there is the Smart Iron On Vinyl. I love that this one doesn't need a mat either. I'm just completing my design and picking the correct settings so I can send it to my Cricut Joy and have this cut my Smart Iron On vinyl. I will have links for all of the products that I'm using down in my description box in case you need any of these things so that you can make some really personalized things too. And now I'm cutting out my design. Once it's done, I'm gonna cut out the pieces that have my words and I'm gonna cut them in individual pieces so that I can place them accordingly on my little bib. Now I'm gonna actually use my little Easy Press Mini for this, which is the cutest thing ever. You just plug it in, push the button, and then you decide on one of three settings and you go ahead and wait for it to heat up. Now I'm gonna weed out the little insides of the letters and now that it's ready, it turns green when it's ready, I'm gonna pull off the excess Smart Iron On Vinyl and I've got a mat there, which is really cool because you really need something to put it on. It does get very, very hot. And now I've got my pieces ready to go. And what you do first is you heat up the surface that you're going to put it on. So you just go over it and you just keep moving. And then when it's time to actually lay down the Smart Iron-On Transfer, for this particular kind of fabric and what I'm doing, you need to move it around constantly for 25 seconds over the whole design. Once that's done, you turn it over and you iron on the back of it for about 15 seconds. And you just keep moving. You don't hold it still. You just keep the little thing moving. And then you turn it back over and you carefully remove the backing. And there it is. There's the first one. And I'm gonna go over the back again just because, I don't know, I just am a little extra that way. Now I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna heat it up first with my Easy Press Mini. And then I'm gonna lay down my Smart Iron On Vinyl. And then I'll put the Easy Press Mini back over the top for 25 seconds, constantly moving and then do on the back side for 15 seconds. You can go to the Cricut website and you can find out exactly how long you need to do different things, different fabrics, different materials, and it'll tell you exactly the right amount of time. It's their heat guide and I'll have a link for you down below in the description box. This turned out so cute. I cannot wait to use the Smart Iron on Vinyl and make other things. I hope you guys like this one. I found this really cute tin planter at the Dollar Tree and it's a little bright and shiny so I'm going to use my Kills Primer paint in white and I'm going to cover the whole thing, not a heavy coat because I am going to distress it and I'm going to do a little bit of the inside too and then I'm going to take my Elephant Paint from Waverly and I'm going to distress it with a dry brush where you put a little bit on the brush, wipe most of it off and then drag it across your piece and I'm mostly trying to get the seams and the edges and over the letters so that you can read them really well and I'm just loving the look that this is giving and I think it's just, it's such a like antique kind of a look and that's one of the things I really like about doing this. I 
I wanted to add a couple of little flowers on the front of it. I just thought that would be really cute. So I went into Cricut Design Space and I found some flowers and then I sent them to the little Cricut Joy. And there it is. And I'm just going to cut those pieces out. And then I'm going to weed the pieces off that need to come off. And I'm going to remove the excess and I'm going to get my transfer tape out. I'm going to cut the right size and then I'm going to apply that to the top. And then I'm going to cut them because I want to put one on one side and one on the other of the words. And that way it'll be easier, of course, to apply. Go over to my little planter and I'm going to set them on there and it really looks great because the color, the silver smart vinyl really matches. And now it's time to style my little planter with some flowers. I put some floral foam in there and I filled the sides with some other styrofoam that I had. And I'm just cutting a bunch of different flowers from the Dollar Tree. These are so cute. They're pink, white with a little yellow in the center. And then I have some more little pink, white and yellow ones with branches. And then I'm gonna use these bright yellow flowers because I wanted to tie it all together. And I think it's just so cheery and fun and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm gonna add some fern to the back just to kind of frame it and give it a little height. And then I'm gonna add some more leaves to the front. I also got a Dollar Tree and I absolutely love how this turned out. I hope you guys like it. It was super fun to make and very easy and fast. And now for one last look at my DIYs today. I am happy with how everything turned out. I love the Cricut Joy. It is so easy to use. Each of these projects didn't even take me 15 minutes to use the Cricut Joy to make the different things that I cut with it. And I love it. I cannot wait for the future to do more projects with this. And like I said, I can take it over to my mom's and help her label things and do whatever. It's going to be such an awesome tool. Thanks again to Cricut for sponsoring this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And to let me know you're still here at the end, type the word flower down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos. It means so much. I will hope to see you in my next video. And please remember that you are a blessing to me.